So how concerned are doctors? And what sort of impact is this having on the NHS? Well, Dr. Vishal Sharma is the Deputy Chair of the Consultants Committee at the British Medical Association. Very good afternoon good to afternoon. you. I mean, this affects all highly paid workers. Why is it such a specific problem in the NHS, though? Well, there's, there's a variety of reasons. So there's been two separate changes. So obviously the tax changes came in, but also the NHS pension scheme also changed. And the compounding effect of these two changes have actually kind of spiralled on doctors in particular and other high earners in the NHS, causing really perverse in, uh, situations in terms of tax. Yeah, I mean, big companies have got around this by reducing the amount of money that they put into employees' pensions and simply reimbursing them with a higher cash payment as part of their salary. Why can't the NHS do that? Yeah, so the, pro the problem is that the pension scheme in the NHS is very different. So the employee has no control over how much money goes into their pension. So they, not only that, they don't really know what their allowance is for the year until after they've completed the financial year. So they have no control of what goes in. They have no idea how much they're allowed to put in and they can't mitigate against it. And actually, rather than tax rates of 55%, um, these things have converged so that actually doctors are paying marginal rates of 100% and in some cases several hundred percent. So actually they're paying to go to work you know, in these arrangements. Now, we know the Department of Health has got concerns over this. What, what are you the NHS employers right now? So we've been working very closely with NHS employers on this. You know, so doctors are concerned about patient care. And we've, we've expressed these concerns to um, our colleagues at NHS employers, and they equally share these concerns. Um, the problem is that the NHS is already short of staff, and what these um, perverse incentives are doing is they're actively discouraging the consultants and GPs to actually take on additional sessions on which the NHS relies. So we're working very closely with them to try and get some urgent mitigations, but clearly the long-term solution you know, rests with the Treasury in terms of tr changing the tapered allowance. No. George Osborne pushed this measure through in the face of a lot of opposition because he said that higher earners were taking too much tax relief. I mean, the Treasury is saving £6 billion a year as a result of this measure. Why should that be changed in favour of doctors? Well, it, it's not really about in favour of doctors. You know, so I, I heard it said yesterday in the debate we want special treatment. That's not the case. You know, we, we do firmly believe that um, higher earners should pay more tax. The problem is that the unintended consequences of the taper and changes to the NHS pension scheme have meant that doctors are hit extremely unfairly about, um, you know, th th with the pensions. Um, I think anybody would agree that tax rates of over 100% are not fair or, or proportionate. So what sort of outcome are you expecting? Are you fairly confident the NHS employers are going to get action from the Treasury? No, so we, we know that's going to take a, a period of time. So we've suggested some urgent mitigations um, with NHS employers about things that might stabilise the situation, such as recycling some of the employers' contributions if you have to opt out of the scheme, uh, and looking at retention of death in service and ill health benefits if you leave the scheme, to try and stabilise this, this problem where people are leaving the workforce, where they're retiring, they're reducing sessions. So we want some stability from that point of view, whilst we pursue a long-term solution with the Treasury. All right, Fisher Sharma from the British Medical Association. Appreciate you joining Thank me. You.